We're going to be producing a mail merge <clears throat> by extracting data from an Excel sheet, which we pre-prepared. And then we're going to put that into a Word template. So launch your Word and you'll notice that you have a bunch of files you used before. And then you have the templates here. If you click on more templates, it's going to show you more. And just pick one that you want to use. So for example, um, I want to use one that I've used before. <laughs> Let me just cite something simple. So let's say uh, I'm going to click this brochure, click create. It's going to open it up. And then what I want to do is I want to link this to. Um, so I'm going to leave all that. Just call it DRX here. And then I'm going to put address here. Square brackets to, to remind me that this is where the address is going to go. And then, thank you. And then kind of the blurb there. And then the X address, just two S's obviously. Right click to auto correct. And then what I need to do is I want to go into mailings. So if I, if you just give me a sec, what I need to do is I'm in the home tab. And what I need to do is I need to go to my mailings tab here. Click on that. Once you hit the mailings, you're going to get a different ribbon. In within the ribbon, you're going to have start mail merge. Notice that there's a little arrowhead pointing down. Click there. And what you want is the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So you're going to click on that. It tells us that you want to do a letter, which is what we're doing. And then this is starting the process one of six at the bottom right here. So you're going to click next. Next, it says select recipients. Notice here, select recipients down here. But it also tells you that use the current document, which is what you're going to be bringing the data into. So what we're going to do is click next, select recipients. Notice now that it's changed to three. And then what we want to do is we want to browse to locate that data. Uh, I've run this movie before. It's not a good one, <laughs> which means that if you have used um, data before and the current version of Word as of 20th of December 2022, 2019 Word version is giving me errors to link to a, a file that I've used before. So you'll have to copy if you want to reuse the same data on a different document, you'll have to re redo it by copying it. So notice here that I've got my document It's called mail merge copy. Okay. So I'm going to see if that's going to work or if it's going to crash again. Now click open. Notice that it tells me that I've only got one table, which is this one, the same one we used in class. Then I'm going to click OK. And then notice it shows me a preview of the different people here. Okay, and then if I'm happy with that, if I'd want to exclude someone, I just tick on the little box and then they're gonna be included in the mail merge, but everyone's been good this year. They all deserve a good present. So I'm gonna click okay at the bottom right here. Okay, and then you'll see next that, so that Excel sheet has been linked and it says write your letter. Okay, so write your letter. Now notice that now it says step four of six, right? We're almost at the end now. What I can do is I can grab something like the address block and the greeting line. Okay, so the greeting line would be um, dear X, for example. And the address block, obviously, where the address goes. So let's go there. So I'm going to go first for the highlight here, even though it's going to give me another field, it just gives me that possibility. So I'm going to go here and select the address, click the address block here, Mr. Hope. But notice that the surname is not there. So what I want to do is I want to match the fields here. At the bottom, there's the match the fields option. So I'm going to click on that and then if something is not matched, it's going to say not matched. So first Mr. and his surname is first name and surname. In America, they'll have different ways. We have set it up differently. 
So first name, I called it name. Last name is not name, but surname. That's what I put in my headings. And I'm going to show you that so you can see that. Um, just to pop it on the side so you can see that this uh, copy is grabbing that data from here. So it's just a, so notice that I have here on the side I have the person's details here. So I have name and surname. So now that name and surname are being mapped over to here. So the first name is name and the last name is surname. Okay. So I've matched that there. Suffix will mean like Mr. which is selected already. And I've called it title. So if suffix is not matched, which is not, you're going to link it to title. Okay. So I'm going to click on suffix, call it title. Uh, address line two is not select. So I need to look for, so if you look down here, we're going to, we've got the address, surname, address, state, and postcode so address what address is the normal address like the street name uh, the state will be address 2 for example so address 1 will be address address 2 will be state you see I've got state here and postal code which if you notice the postal code is not oh the postal code is not matched so postal code here is not matched and that corresponds to the English postcode here okay so I'm gonna click on postal code look for postcode whilst I'm happy with that and then if you got like a standard way of doing this you can tick this box and then click OK click OK then what I can do is I can preview here my records by clicking this arrows pointing right. The first little triangle head or arrow head makes it one progress by one and the one with the line does progress till the end. So I want to go one by one. So my miss, you see, it's got the naming convention there and then put OK. So here it says address block. So I can delete this in square brackets again this is kind of an orientation tool the x i want to highlight x and i want to go to the greeting line so remember x corresponds to greeting line the x so in the greeting line there mr randall so it's going to put it twice okay greeting line so i'm just going to remove what I wrote before again it's an orientation tool you can do whatever thing you want the way you want it as long as you orient yourself whether the data maps across just a reminder that you got your address block that includes the name and the suffix you've got the greeting line which corresponds to dear and then we're going to preview our letters in step four out of six next preview your letters so notice now that the on the left hand side in the panel we have the actual data of the person and the deer etc and now the control panel here of going back and forth is in two places we have it here or up here it, it doesn't matter the way you want to do it it's just go so i go i'll do one up here and one at the bottom so i'm going to go here goes notice it goes two and two you see two and two and then i'm going to go one here and notice again one and one so it doesn't matter okay you can also if you change your mind the last minute.com and you don't want to include that person you can exclude rece recipient by clicking that button and now it's telling us to go to the step five out of six which is the do the mail merge before you actually print next complete the mail merge so it's it's going to do it all and then what we want to do is 
it's a waste of time if you edit individual letters because that defeats the purpose of automating the process. And you, you, I would, what I would do is if you want to have an extra field, you would put something like, like custom data in here if you wanted to add extra bits. And again, there will be an extra field. But what we want to do now is we want to print. And in class, we looked at two options for printing. If you want to work with a colleague and print it at a later time, you will print to a PDF file. But if you want to print straight away, then you select your printer within the print option. So let me show you that. So I'm going to click print. It's into, it says all, so it means all the records of all the people, all the pages. Click OK. And the print dialog box opens up. You will have your, your printer that you have at home here. But you'll need to click on this little down arrow to go to find the print to Microsoft PDF. Click here. Go down. And you see here, Microsoft print to PDF option. So you click on that and you print. Okay, so you print by going to OK down here. That's going to open up your filing process and I'm going to call mail and merge to without embed fonts. And I'll tell you what that is now. Click save. That's saved. What we can also do is we're going to go to file options down here so what we want to do is uh, in the save here on the bottom on here so options remember you go to your file say op, file on options in the save element of this we want to go down here it says here preserve fidelity when sharing this document which means fidelity means as close to the original as possible and notice that there's an embed thing here so why would you want to do this so if you download custom fonts, you want to make sure these fonts are embedded because it will replace them with something else or worse comes to the worst with gobbledygook. That doesn't mean anything. And you're going to spoil your, your really beautiful work. So once you do that, click OK. Then this time when you go and print, you're, you're going to go file, print again. Or you can go to print here on the bottom on, on the panel on the right. OK, and then I want to print a PDF. Click OK, and then this time I want to write over what I did. So I'm going to go to Date Modifier to show me on the top. And I'm going to instead of without, I'm going to click here and just alter it and just put with embed fonts. With embedded fonts. And then save. And then that will make sure that I will have those embedded fonts. So thank you so much for listening. Have a look at the handouts I gave you. You've got no excuses now not to practice. You've got your video. Thank you so much for listening. I miss you already. Have a great time and hopefully we'll meet up in future in some other way, shape or form. Thank you so much once again.